Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with BarbieFigueroa.online and thank you so much for watching my video. So, the other day I was on the ClickFunnels forum and uh, someone had mentioned, you know, should I use uh, WordPress for my um, lead capture forms and funnels or should I use ClickFunnels for my lead capture forms and funnels? And I was like, well, you know, here's the truth. I use both and um, in the past I've been very adamant about controlling all of my content and building everything from scratch and hosting everything on my domain but I have concluded that I have one exception and it is my happy medium which is marrying WordPress with ClickFunnels. Now, I'll do another video actually sharing my feelings and thoughts about, um, you know, using ClickFunnels at, for lead capture pages and um, funnels over WordPress. Um, and you can decide what's right for you. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I connected my ClickFunnels API to WordPress so that I could still have that feeling that or that, yeah, that feel that uh, my ClickFunnels lead capture pages are actually branching from my website uh, by using the ClickFunnels integration plugin. Um, so that's what this video will be about. So if you are interested in learning how to basically, you know, if ClickFunnels and WordPress had a baby, what would it look like? <laughs> uh, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, guys and gals, well, thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate you being here. Uh, let's just, just jump into the content uh, after you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So, uh, as you can see right here, we are on my website. Again, you can visit that at www.barbiefigueroa.online. Okay, now, right here, when you look, I have uh, these training academies, right? These are training um, videos that lead to my courses. I've actually created funnels for my uh, courses and I use ClickFunnels to do it. So let's go ahead and go to color branding for beginners, okay? Now this is uh, a uh, ClickFunnels page, okay? So it's it's ClickFunnels, uh, you know, visually I just can't argue with ClickFunnels, man. Their their look is so much cleaner. It's so much, uh, you know. I feel like it's more solid. It's just, uh, it's just a cleaner, cleaner look. Um, and if you've worked in ClickFunnels and uh, and you know anything about, you know, design, I think you know what I mean. It just feels cleaner, more put together, more professional. Um, the the way that it, it works is just, I don't know, I just love it. To me, it's just visually appealing to me. It just looks more uh, put together, more high end, okay? These lead capture pages are actually look like they're coming from my website, but they're not part of my website, okay? And if you go to the um, browser, it looks like they're coming from barbiefigueroa.online backslash whatever the name of the course is, okay? Or whatever the name of the capture page is. So if you want to integrate that, uh, all you have to do is go into your back office panel, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to... Let me open up my window a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me go ahead and go inside my back office and I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate ClickFunnels with WordPress, all right? So let's go to the dashboard real quick. Go to plugins, all right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the plugins and you are going to come here. You're going to go to the search area. You're going to go to ClickFunnels. And my Mac wants to separate it. No, thank you. Okay. And you'll see it here. I already have it activated. All right. But what it'll do, it'll say connect ClickFunnels to your account with a simple authorization key. All right. Now, you could just go ahead and mine's activated. So you'll just go and activate it from here. Okay. And once you activate it, you will see it right in here, right here. Okay. So let's go to ClickFunnels. So go ahead, find it, and click Activate. 
Now, you are going to need to go to the settings and you have to create, you have to go and uh, put your uh, API, okay? And I'm blurring mine out. Um, so you just, you have to put your uh, API, okay? So how do you go to your API? You go to ClickFunnels, okay? So here's my dashboard. Go to ClickFunnels. You're going to go to my account and then you're going to go here to WordPress API, okay? And right in here, boom, you're going to get your key, okay? So you're going to grab that key, you're going to copy that key, and you're going to paste it into here and click Save Settings, all right? So then you're going to go and you're going to click on Compatibility Check. Everything's going to check. Everything's going to be fine. You know, everything's going to check through, and you are good to go. And then we're going to go to the General Settings. Um, and this is just so like if you want to further customize, so you could either download and display, you can embed the full page iframe, or you can redirect to ClickFunnels. If you want to make it look like your page is coming from your website, you must click download and display. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go to uh, Barbie Figure Online. Whoops. And we're going to go to... Um, color color branding for beginners okay now the reason why it looks like it's on my domain you see how it looks like it's on my domain if I would have checked redirect it would have gone it would have forwarded to you know my click funnels subdomain so if you want it to look like it's on your website you must choose this option download and display okay save all your settings all right, now, so let's go ahead and add a new page, okay? So we want to create something like this, okay? We want to do that, and we want to create it in ClickFunnels. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ClickFunnels. You have to be in the ClickFunnels section, and you're going to go Add New, okay? Now, also keep in mind, you can, you know, SEO this or whatever. You can put... Um, you know, like if you want to, you know, uh, rank for a keyword, you could you could do that by by fixing the title. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So it's a regular page, okay? And I want to choose what funnel. See, these are funnels that you've that you've created in ClickFunnels. These are lead capture pages that you've created in ClickFunnels, okay? So what we want to do is we want to choose the one that we want to send it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to set it to 30 minute lead magnet okay which is one of the courses that I created and we're gonna go here and we're gonna call, we're gonna give it a name so let's just say best lead capture software review now you see this is what the page is gonna be called you see it's gonna say Barbie figure out online best lead capture page software review alright so you just go ahead and you save the page and now it will assign a page to that page in ClickFunnels, okay? But this is the bridge. You have to do it through here. You have to do it through here, okay? So let's go ahead and put this. Let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it into our browser. And you will see that now, even though it looks like it's on my domain, right, it is actually Click, a ClickFunnels page. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here we go. Here is my lead capture page. Okay? This is ClickFunnels. All right? So that is how that works. So if you want your ClickFunnels lead capture pages to appear that they are coming off your domain without having to map your domain and do a subdomain and all that stuff, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, and I think it's great. It's a great, um, you know, solution. Um, and you can just go and, uh, click, uh, edit, uh, ClickFunnels and you can go directly, uh, to your account right from here. And it'll take you right into your ClickFunnels account to, um, update your um, 
update your lead capture pages once you save them um, they, it will all update across the board okay so hopefully that helped you so if you're looking for a way to marry WordPress plus your click funnels lead capture pages and your funnels um, then this is a great great option to do it so if you like this video if you learned something from this video if it gave you an aha moment please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions regarding WordPress and click funnels um, please go ahead and leave your comments in the uh, comment section below and I will make sure to get back to you uh, with uh, an answer and if you haven't signed up with ClickFunnels already and you want to use my link for ClickFunnels hey I'd totally appreciate it I'll have that link down below that way if you have any questions uh, you can go ahead and I'll be more than happy to help you with that um, so yeah this has been Barbie Figueroa thank you so much for watching I truly appreciate you uh, make sure to visit my website at www.barbiefigueroa.online and I will see you on the next video. Bye.